You sing mushrooms, some are edible, others are poisonous. And picking them doesn't always get rid of them. First News reporter Tim Neptune spoke with a local expert on why. You may or may not like them, but regardless, mushrooms may be popping up in your yard. Growing in your yard and your flower bed, they're probably turning your wood chips into, into good healthy dirt. Um, or they could be partnering up in a symbiotic relationship with many kinds of trees. A local mushroom guru I spoke with says some trees actually need that give and take relationship. Without the mushrooms, your trees would not be healthy, you might not even be there. And vice versa, if you don't have the tree, you don't have the mushroom. Some mushrooms you can eat, others are very poisonous. There are many edible mushrooms that grow in people's yards. The key is identifying them and knowing which is which. You can determine what's good and what's bad by researching online or picking up a book. Surgeon says if you don't know what it is, don't eat it. Just keep the children away from them. Uh, if you have toddlers or crawling kids, that put things in their mouth and keep the dogs away because dogs will eat them too. Also, you can't just get rid of them by picking them. Well, you pick it and you're only picking the reproductive part. The actual organism is healthily growing underneath the ground and next year will produce more mushrooms and maybe two weeks later produce more mushrooms. He put it this way, you're picking the apple and not hurting the tree. Under the ground, there's a large cobwebby like growth that is the actual organism and that growth wraps itself around the root of a tree. You can treat your yard with weed killer or fungicide, but you need to be cautious. Mushrooms tend to absorb what's there, so that's not a good thing. In Youngstown, Tim Neptune, WKBN 27 First News.